How you guys doing tonight? When the fight was first announced, I didn't get much feedback about the Birdo Guerrero welterweight title clash coming up on Saturday night. But all of a sudden, over the last few days, lots of people seem to be interested in this particular fight. So I'm going to give my breakdown of both fighters and what I think the outcome will be. First, Andre Birdo, strong puncher. Lots of heart. Very, very fast. Birdo is a really good fighter. I think Birdo is technically deficient, though, on the inside. It's really weird because people label guys because of the way they're built instead of the way they fight. For example, people look at Paul Williams and they think that he's supposed to be, you know, a Tommy Hearns, Bob Foster type of fighter because of the way he's built. But in actuality, Paul Williams is a pressure volume puncher who really doesn't have the eyes to fight from the outside or the reflexes. Berto, on the other hand, is an explosive fighter from the outside. He has a good left hook, a really, really good right hand. Berto's real good from the outside. But on the inside, Berto kind of grabs. He holds. You know, he's not a guy that could sort of sit in the pocket, let's say the way Adrian Broner did last week against DeMarco. I like I like Berto a lot. He showed a lot of heart in his fight with Luis Calazzo. Although I think that's the fight that sort of exposed Berto a little bit. And after that, he really wasn't, you know, tangling with too many top level type of threats in my opinion. But I like Berto as a fighter. He's a really good fighter. Uh he has some room for improvement. He's kind of plateaued over the last few years. And I'm really curious to see if he can handle Guerrero. Guerrero, on the other hand, you know, Guerrero was like a four-division champion. But when I hear four-division champion, I look at that as like the all-time elite caliber type of fighters. You know, Ray Leonard, Floyd Mayweather, Roy Jones, you know, just elite, elite type of fighters, you know. No disrespect to Guerrero, but I don't view him as that. I've never thought Guerrero was the best fighter in his division, the second best fighter in his division, or even the third best fighter in the division. Um, Guerrero has a lot to prove this fight, unfortunately, because when you when you're labeled as a four division champion, you know you know people are going to expect you to be a pound for pound type of talent. And Guerrero's accomplishments and the eyeball test don't give him that kind of um he may people may think that he does does not deserve those kind of acc accolades. And it's not Guerrero's fault. You know, the era that he's fighting in, how he's come up, you know. So I don't I don't wanna blame Guerrero. You know, it's just the way it is in this era. I like Guerrero a lot. I think he's a good fighter. I think he has lots of heart. He skipped a couple divisions. Um I like the guy, you know. As for the fight itself, I'm going to label this fight. I like to give fights labels so you guys can get a visual of why I, I'm coming up with what I come up with. I'm going to label this fight the sprinter versus the distance runner. Andre Berto is a sprinter. He has those fast twitch muscles where everything he does is ha, ha. Guerrero is more of the steady distance runner. Guerrero is not was not born with the athletic gifts that Berto was born with. So therefore, Berto is going to throw the more judge-friendly and fan-friendly punches. You're going to see Guerrero's head snap back constantly. Berto is going to hit Guerrero with some big right hands. Um... The problem that Berto has, in my opinion, is after the first couple rounds of the fight, everything he does is a wind sprint, sort of like Gene Pascal. I think Berto's better than Gene Pascal, but they're similar where they'll throw three, four punches as hard as they can, and then they got to grab or hold, and you physically see them trying to get the oxygen back in his body. A guy who Berto would have had a nightmare with would be a guy like Antonio Margarito in his prom. If Berto would have fought Margarito around 2007, 2008, he would have had a nightmare. Because when he would when he lets those that fire go, Margarito's just walking. 
being a distance runner. And in between that wind sprint that Birdo has to take where he has to get that 15, 20 second rest, Margarito would be punishing him. Birdo has, hasn't corrected that. You know, there's there's things you can do. You know, I'm not going to get into his training and all that kind of stuff because I don't want to disrespect his trainers. I don't know what they worked on in camps. I just know what I see him do in fights. And I see a guy that's always sprinting and you see him sprinting. You physically see him sprinting and you see him trying to get his win back in the man. You know, if, if I pick up on it, people from opposing camps and opposing opponents pick up on it. And I just don't think it's a good thing to fight like that if you got a durable guy in front of you that really, really knows what he's doing. I don't know if Guerrero can capitalize on this because I don't think Guerrero is a gifted puncher. He's not the kind of guy that I look at that said that that will be able to close the distance on Birdo and really make him pay for those for those wind spreads. Um, Victor Ortiz did because Victor Ortiz can carry you at a a faster pace. Victor Ortiz is a little stronger, a little bigger, and a better puncher than Guerrero is. And Victor Ortiz fought the fight of his life against Andre Birdo. I'm going to pick Birdo by late round knockout. You know, it could be a decision, depends. But I'll pick Birdo by about a 10th round knockout. I just think he punches a little too hard. I think he's a little too accurate. I think he's a little too fast. And I think he's going to catch Guerrero coming in. But I do want to say I think it's going to be an exciting fight because Birdo has shown to have gas tank issues. You know, so I expect Guerrero to fight a lively fight. I expect Guerrero to put his whole heart into it. I expect Guerrero to be the guy that wants to, you know, he, he wants respect. You know, he's tired of being overlooked. So I expect Guerrero to fight his butt off against Berto. I just don't think that he's gifted enough. I think he gets hit a little too clean. I don't know if he has the physical strength to sort of bear down on Andre Berto. And I don't know if he's cerebral enough to know when to step to Birdo after Birdo does these wind sprints that he does. But I want you guys to look for that. Uh, um, the way Birdo kind of, you know, the way Birdo fights at the quick pace and then rest and then the quick pace and then rest. I want you to look for that because I think whether Guerrero looks for it or not, I think that that's what's going to make this fight competitive because Guerrero will have gaps on where he can kind of get some work done in between Birdo's quick, hard, fast volleys. But I don't think Birdo, um, Guerrero is the guy to take advantage of Birdo. You know, a fight that um, Birdo wouldn't want would be a guy like Floyd Mayweather with that cerebral gas tank where, where, where he can go to any place that he needs to go as far as output is concerned. I'm not sure if Guerrero is that guy. But I do... Com expect a competitive fight but I think one guy is shooting a 40 caliber handgun in Andre Berto and I think Guerrero has a 38 you know I just think that Berto just has too much firepower he was just born with too many God-given gifts so that's my pick I've been hot lately hopefully I stay hot and I'll see you next I'll see you guys next time on the video mailbag later